What was your best birthday experience? My mom and dad divorced very early in my life, well before I was 2 years old. After their divorce, my mom did the typical single mother thing and worked crazy long hours to make ends meet. Zero financial support from her ex-husband, my dad. As a kid, while I was content, I was pretty lonely growing up. After several years of living like this, my mom met this single guy with two kids my age. Literally we were all born the same year. Fell in love and got married. They didn't do a fancy church wedding. They went down to the courthouse and got a marriage license, and then came straight home. We packed up the truck that afternoon and headed to the beach for a 3 day camping trip. The day they got married was my 6th birthday. I was just thrilled to have a dad and a brother and a sister. What blew me away that evening was a surprise birthday cake, party, and presents at the beach next to a campfire on the shores of Lake Superior. That birthday, those feelings, those smells, and images will probably be with me the rest of my life. That guy my mom married would later go on and adopt me. Best. Day. Ever. When I was a kid I had a tiny 9 inch television in my room that I had my Super Nintendo hooked up to. On my 12th birthday I was having a sleepover with a bunch of friends so my dad let me hook up the SNES to our 32 inches TV downstairs. I walked in from school to find my dad playing Super Mario World on the TV and it was freaking glorious. Mario looked life sized compared to before and the colors were amazing. I was blown away. I still very vividly remember watching him play in the forest level with the angry caterpillars. Then later that night my friends and I stayed up all night eating pizza and having Street Fighter 2 tournaments. I can't imagine any birthday being able to match that now. That's sick. I'm a dad of a now teenager. He loves when I play games with him or just on my own and we can talk about it. Currently we are on a serious Pokemon binge. We drive all over the place and meet up with other people and battle. It's pretty fun but for me it's the memories. It sounds like you have a great dad. My 6th birthday. My dad was a software engineer working in the UK at the time. His company acquired another company and sent him there under the guise of it being a temporary assignment, but they kept extending it much to his displeasure. My parents had just divorced and my mom was working long hours to keep up with bills. So the timing was bad and things were generally pretty rough. My birthday weekend fell in the middle of my dad's stint in the UK. Without telling his boss, he flew back to spend the weekend with me. We're from California so it was a 10 hour flight. This also happened to be 4th of July weekend so he took me, my sister, and my grandparents to the family cabin deep in wine country to celebrate. Friday, we had pizza and cake and I opened presents. The marquee gift being a gigantic super soaker that I'd be pining for for months. Saturday, I got to run around, play catch with my dad, and shoot my sister with the super soaker. Sunday we went swimming in a nearby creek and later watched the fireworks our neighbors sent off. I just remember it being the pinnacle of carefree childhood fun. My dad risked his job and traveled thousands of miles to make it happen which I'll never forget. This made me tear up man. Hope all is well. My father was dying of a brain tumor. He was ambulatory, but just barely. He asked me if I'd like to have a birthday lunch with him. We drove to a really lovely restaurant he had chosen and sat fairly close to the door because it was such a struggle for him. After we ordered, he began to cry, saying he wanted to do so much more for me. I told him I loved the place. It was next to a lake. Great menu, but that was secondary. I told him that being with him was the best birthday gift I could ever hope for, and the best I ever had. We talked about all the wonderful things in life and I got him laughing about some of the crazy things he had done as a young boy. It was the best birthday ever. Nothing will ever compare. It was so good to see him happy. Moran. This one hit home. Thank you for sharing this. I hope you both had an amazing day that day. I was participating in a study abroad program in Japan for my 22nd birthday, and all of the friends I had made that year got together and came out for a special surprise dinner, rented out the room of a restaurant, and we all got to hang out, drink, and dance together. Then the horde of us biked across town to go to a karaoke bar, and it was the best birthday ever. 18th birthday, had a home basketball game and every time I went to get out of the shower like 3 people would throw soap at me. It was funny at first but after like the 5th time it was kind of annoying. Finally me and my friend were the last to leave the locker room. 
He offered me a ride home and when we walked into my house it was just my parents in the kitchen. Then like 35 people jumped out and surprised me. It was amazing and I was actually very surprised. Afterwards, they told me they kept throwing soap at me so my girlfriend could finish getting everything ready. It was a blast. I like how the only thing they could think of was to hurtle things at you. Barney the dinosaur came to my school and gave me a hug. Tears of joy man. Mother goose was there too but I didn't give a crap about her. Happy cake day. Comma mother goose was there too but I didn't give a crap about here. Words of wisdom. This year was my 21st and it didn't show up on Facebook for some reason. So pretty much everyone forgot. Only the real ones remembered who wished me happy birthday in person and gave me a present. So it was actually kind of nice to only have my real close friends and family celebrate my birthday with me. My birthday falls pretty close after Christmas. And so gets missed in the hustle by a lot of people. But not my close friends and family. And I love that fact. I don't need someone I barely know wishing me happy birthday. But having friends take the time out of a busy season for my birthday means a lot. My birthday is in that month where we always have final examinations so since beginning I never really had a proper birthday party. It was mainly cutting a cake with mum and dad and then studying the whole night since I had exams the next day. My friends hardly ever wished me cause they were always so tensed about exams. I don't blame them. This year on my 17th birthday I had my chemistry practical exams and I wasn't expecting much on my birthday as usual. I prepared for my viva the whole night. No one called, went to give my practical and came back home. As soon as I was going to take a nap my friend calls and me says come outside. I went outside my house and literally all of my friends were there with balloons and three cakes and presents. I cut the cake then they all took me to this cafe that they all contributed and booked for my birthday party. We had delicious food, great conversation and at last I gave a cheesy cliche speech on how thankful I am to have each one of them as my friend and I'll never forget this day. At the end it got kinda happy emotional so we had a group hug. Thank you guys. Thank you for making me feel special. Probably when one of my best friends surprised me with another one of my best friends coming in from out of state. I saw them coming. Scream swore at the top of my lungs, ran outside, and tackled him in a hug. So I've always had a deep manly affection for penguins. My local aquarium put in a penguin encounter thing you could pay for. X dollars for like 45 minutes with the penguins and the first day happened to be my birthday. So my mom paid for us to go. We show up and there are like 60 people there. No one is 100% sure how things are supposed to work. And the two teenage workers ask if we were there for the tour. We were like heck no we wanna play with the penguins. So it was just my mom and me with three penguins for 45 minutes. It was fun, even when the keeper turned their back I gave the penguin a hug. When would I have another opportunity? Penguins as it turns out do not enjoy hugs. Well it turned out they messed everything up. The package you pay for was penguin encounter and backstage tour. Turns out they stuff like 60 people in there and you have to share your penguins. But because of error we got them all to ourselves. The penguin hug is so wholesome. When I was a kid I would watch Toy Story religiously. If you had to babysit me you would just have to play that movie on repeat and I would be in a trance. So on my 4th or 5th birthday my parents threw me a party and invited my friends and family over. At the party I was playing with my Buzz Lightyear action figure until my mom approaches me and takes it. I watch her carry it up the stairs and for a moment I had my eyes glued on those steps. Shortly after she walks down. Stops halfway down the steps and calls to me. When I looked up, I dropped my jaw because I was watching a life-size buzz walk down the steps behind her. He came to me and lifted me up and wished me a happy birthday. I couldn't say anything because I was still trying to digest the moment. The other kids were also in shock and awe. Eventually he went back up the stairs and my mom returned the action figure to me. For a while I was wondering how my folks did that, but I didn't pray for answers. I was just happy that it happened. This past March I turned 60. This has been the best birthday so far because I was so grateful to actually have a birthday to celebrate. I had been battling stage 3 cancer for one, one stroke two years prior. My husband and I went to the Miraville Wellness Resort in Tucson and it was a fabulously healing experience. That's awesome. Congratulations on kicking cancer's butt. My 25th. 
spent the day alone, in another state, buried in a university's archives doing research. I was in grad school, but I treated myself to a manicure and got my nails done. When I came home a few days later some friends took me out for wings and drinks and when they took me back to my apt a whole bunch of other friends and some family were inside for a surprise party. That was also the summer I met my future husband. I live alone in a state I moved to after college for work and don't know anyone outside of work. Every year on my birthday I go out by myself and treat myself to as much good quality sushi as I can eat. I don't look at the price I just order what I want until I'm full. It's a simple thing but I look forward to it each year. On my 19th birthday, a friend of mine dropped everything and took me on a short road trip to see a friend who had moved 4 hours away. We met her about halfway, and had a very nice lunch that ended with a strawberry cheesecake, which is my favorite thing ever. Hope you enjoyed that strawberry cheesecake. My dad had a large garden in his backyard and I must have been about 7 or 8. I asked him if we could do a corn maze someday, he said maybe. I didn't really pay much attention to what he did in the garden usually but, come the next year, 90% of it was sprouting giant, tightly packed corn stalks. I'd mostly forgotten my wish by then, being a kid who was busy building lightsabers with PVC pipe those days. The day of my birthday and party, I came home from school to see a big ass corn maze and my mom had turned our entire house into a haunted house. The school was small enough that everyone rode the same bus and everyone got off at my place so we got to work. Best. Birthday. Ever. Looking back, that was right around the time my dad got a new job. Every birthday prior to that had been very small with minimal presents and decoration. Because of how much fun us kids had that day, though, every birthday after was small and undecorated as well lol. This sounds amazing. Love how much effort your parents put into it. In 5th grade I was taken out of school early to go to Disneyland for the next 3 days. That was also the weekend that I first listened to RHCP's Californication so that album always reminds me of a wonderful road trip and being happy. I love when memories have a soundtrack. 23rd birthday, I was on the prices right. I won a trip to Vegas. I took the money instead because the trip to Vegas was actually just like $1000 in Travelocity dollars, which is nothing, especially in Vegas of all places. The check they sent me was for like $800. I bought a laptop with it, the whole crowd sung me happy birthday as I walked off stage. Decent time but not great, and it would have been way better if they weren't cheap as frick. Also I didn't get to keep the thing I bid on to get on stage which was this awesome slot machine that I would have kept forever, which was valued at like $500. Frick you tpir. I'll let you know tomorrow, this one ain't over yet. Happy birthday. Went to Disneyland in Orlando for my 7th birthday I'm British, and I forget the park but you could go and have breakfast with people dressed as the characters walking around greeting people. We sat down and I don't really remember much. Just my family buzzing around, aunts, uncles, nan, all there, was a large family holiday. Next thing I know the lights go off and I hear my name on the loudspeaker saying it's my birthday. The music starts playing, me and my family, and everyone else at this point, looks around and sees a large line of Disney characters walking out the kitchen following a birthday cake to my table. It was pretty amazing. My mum had no idea they were going to do this either, she didn't know what to expect. Turns out other kids got one character each if it was their birthday but as it turns out, since my mum brought the cake herself they decided to go all out and leave me until last so all the characters would be available. Everybody was extremely jealous. I absolutely love it, still making me tear up writing it. They stopped doing it the year after too so I got a once in a lifetime experience that day and one of very few fond memories. Oh I am 29 now so that was a long time ago. This sounds cliche but might as well tell it. It was my 17th birthday. No one really gives me gifts and all which I don't mind. But every day, I would love to spend my money on all of my friends and I don't care if I get broke or what. As long as I see them happy, I am happy. But that day was different. It was just a normal day at school. No one really greeted me except for my friends. It was lunch when my friend playfully grabbed my bag and took it with him in the CR. 
It took him a few minutes before he got out and I got really suspicious so I immediately checked my bag after retrieving it from him. When I opened it, there was a small white box inside. I almost cried right then and there. He gave me a wooden music box, which is in the tune of Hedwig's theme. He saved 3 months of allowance to it. I didn't know what to say or what to do because I was too flattered by the fact that someone actually took the effort to save up and give me a gift on my day. I was so happy but it doesn't end there. Later that day, all of my friends went home except for him. We were talking as usual when all of a sudden he started fidgeting which he rarely does unless he's nervous or something's bothering him. And guess what? As I said this is really cliche. He confessed to me. I don't want to dig in more details but yay. He confessed, we both confessed. We aren't official but we are dating for 5 months now. He helped me with my depression and my cutting. I'm clean for almost 2 months now because of him. I guess that would be the best birthday ever. Sounds official to me. You don't need to go public with your relationship in order for it to be official. Man. I sure do love great content. And I'm working on some of that over at Dude Man. So you should you should go there right now. Go there. Go if you aren't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. Then go over to Dude Man. Right there, right there. You click you click right there. You click right there. You better do it. You better, so help me, you better go over there. Because you deserve something good. I put my heart and soul into this stuff, man. You don't even understand. No pressure.